I'm Nicholas Heitner. Uh, I was a staff producer, as it was then called, at ENO starting, I think, in 78 or 79. Uh, it was my first proper job in London, certainly. Uh, and uh, I was three years a staff producer and uh, learnt a great deal of what, um, of what I've continued to use uh, ever since then. Uh, I learned from directors like John Copley, Colin Graham, uh, Anthony Besh, uh, real masters of their craft. And I learned um, to love opera and at least to start to understand how opera worked. And that uh, I ascribe to wonderful conductors. And uh, when I have directed opera subsequently, um, it's from genuinely great conductors like Mark Elder, Roger Norrington, Charles McCarris, Antonio Papano, that I've learned most of what I know about music. My favorite among the operas I directed here uh, was Xerxes. Uh, Handel Xerxes because it felt in those days that we were pioneering. Um, Charles McCarris, uh, who was a pioneer in so many different parts of the repertoire, um, did as much as anybody to bring Handel to the wider public and it's been an enormous pleasure uh, in the decades since 1985 to see Handel become um, one of the mainstays of the repertoire, which he certainly wasn't back in the early 80s. If you work as a director, as I do, I think um, the time you enjoy most is the time in rehearsal. What I really remember with great fondness about the Colosseum are those, um, are those uh, rehearsals that happen with the orchestra in the pit, uh, virtually nobody in the auditorium, and you honestly think that you're in a position of unparalleled privilege, this extraordinary music making going on. Um, these, this vast number of people who are really devoted to and really expert at and really talented in uh, the thing they do. And you're sitting in the auditorium and you think they're doing it just for you and that's, that's a huge kick.